Our next speaker is known for the way she sees the best in people and creates images that help people see the best in themselves. Please welcome Michelle Barnes. Pretend like my hair is stuck to my head with strawberry jam. That's what this mom said to her five-year-old daughter. Wrestling playfully, they laughed and they giggled. They tickled each other until hair started to fall out in clumps and litter the sheets around them. This mom is going through chemotherapy treatment again. The heartbreaking truth of cancer recurrence is the way that it takes from families that have already given so much. Remarkably, this mom continues to give her daughter the gift of her presence. Mama, when all of your hair falls out, I'm afraid I won't recognize you anymore. Setting her own fears aside, this mom, she reaches out and she holds her daughter close. She is raw but strong, and most of all, she's fully present with her little one. How can I empower my beautiful daughter in this impossible time. She hands her daughter the clippers. Tending to her mom in a way that is gentle and still fierce at the same time. This little girl is empowered to do the one thing that she fears most. Her vulnerability is her strength. I've been photographing these two since the mom was pregnant with her daughter. Over the years, we've become friends. And still, there's a small part of me that wished I could have pushed her cancer away. There's a part of me that wanted to keep cancer distant and safe so I could believe it would never touch me or my children. But that's not who I want to be in the world. So instead, I chose to be fully present with the darkness while seeing the light in each of them. You can do it too. Look around you. There is light in the darkest of places. I went to this mother and daughter to capture their story. I was there for them. But because I was able to bear witness to their experience, do you know what happened? A part of me was healed in the process. I had the chance to put back together some of my own broken pieces and experience a return to wholeness. When we see what is sacred in one another, healing opportunities are created for all of us. To see another is to touch someone's soul. And to be seen in our own most vulnerable moments is to have our own souls touched in return. So when I wonder how to stand tall and look forward in the face of any of the challenges that life throws our way, I remember what they taught me. Connect deeply. Do not be afraid to look and do not be afraid to be seen. Our vulnerability 
is also our strength. If you look for the light in dark places, you will be amazed at the beauty you discover. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle.